This video will demonstrate how to create buffers using ArcGIS Pro. The data being used for this demonstration is streams and lakes in Clallam County, Washington. I've also included uh, a shapefile, the polygon of the, the county, just to provide some geographic context. A buffer is an area of equal and consistent distance that's drawn around a feature and this creates a zone around each feature in a layer. And buffers are useful for certain types of queries and analyses. Buffers can be created for all vector feature types, whether they're points, lines, or polygons. So for this demonstration, let's assume a hypothetical that we're interested in protecting areas around water bodies in Clallam County. So we want to create a buffer around these water features. So first, let's create a buffer for the streams, which are line features. Let's take a quick look at the attribute table for the streams layer. We can see some basic information about each of these streams, including its name, as well as its distance in miles. So if we want to create a buffer, around each of these streams. We go over to our geoprocessing pane and we want to open up uh, the buffer which is found under analysis tools. We can either click on it here under favorites or we can also just do a search for it and here it pops up at the top. So let's just click on it and open it up. For input features we want to set this to our streams layer. For our output feature class it auto populates a name. I'm going to keep most of that, but I'm going to put a number after that's going to be meaningful to me. And that's going to be the distance I'm setting for this buffer. And I'll do 250. So our next uh, field here that we want to fill in is going to be the, the distance field. And here I'm going to set this to 250. And so this is going to be the distance from each of these streams that the buffer zone is going to extend. So I hit, uh, or excuse me, I enter in 250, and then if I just hit tab on the keyboard, we'll see that the units auto populated to feet. So let's look, let's open up the uh, layer properties for Clallam County streams. And if we go to source and we scroll down and ex expand the spatial reference, because this layer, in fact, all the layers for this demonstration are uh, using a state plane Washington North projected coordinate system. If we look at our linear units, these are going to be in feet. And so uh, that's why the units automatically populated to feet. Now I could certainly set this to something else. So um, if I click this drop down here, I could set it to meters or miles or any of these units here if I'd like. But I'm going to keep it at 250 feet and then I will click run. And so the buffer's been created but it may not be that noticeable unless we zoom in much further and we can see that indeed a buffer has been um, created around each of these streams and rivers. So I'm going to turn off the streams layer so that we can better see the the buffer and so this is basically it's a new polygon that's been created for each of uh, surrounding each of these streams so in other words we've created a zone around each stream that is uniformly 250 feet all around the streams let's take a look at the attribute table so we'll open that up and we can see attributes from the Clallam County streams layer, such as the name. But we also see some new fields. So over here on the left, object ID 1. So since each buffer is a new polygon, ArcGIS Pro has assigned each buffer polygon a unique object ID. But the attribute table also provides the object ID or, or feature ID for from the, the original layer, from the Clallam County Streams layer. So you can always use um, this for reference if need be. 
We also see two new fields that were created, shape length and shape area. Shape length provides us with the length or distance of the perimeter of the buffer polygon. Shape area provides us with the area of that buffer polygon. The units for both of these length and area values are based on the linear units of the projected coordinate system that's being used. So again, since we're using a state plane coordinate system, we saw just a moment ago that the linear units are in feet. So the length of the buffer perimeter is in feet and the area is in square feet. I'm gonna close this attribute table and uh, reset this uh, buffer tool and I'm gonna zoom out here and let's say we also want to create buffers for protected areas around lakes so I'll turn off the buffer layer turn on the lakes layer and so similarly we're interested in protecting some area um, around these lakes so I'll set my input features here to lakes Again, I'll set a buffer, I'll just name it, put 250 at the end. And for distance, I'll enter in the 250. If I hit tab on my keyboard, we'll see that the units automatically populate in feet. Now, when we're buffering a polygon, we have the option of including that polygon or excluding that polygon. And that's where this uh, side type drop down menu comes in. So if it's full, it's gonna include the polygon. So in this instance, it would include the lake as well as this 250 foot distance uh, along the perimeter of that lake. What I'm gonna select is this option, exclude the input polygon from buffer. So it's only going to create a zone around the perimeter of the lake polygons it is not going to include the lake itself in this. I can go ahead and click Run. And the buffer has been uh, created for the lakes layer. Let's zoom in so we can take a bit of a closer look here. We can see here Lake Crescent. We can see along the, the perimeter that we have the, the buffer. Now if I turn off the lakes layer from the contents pane, we can see that it's just a zone around the perimeter of the lake itself. Now I can open up the attribute table for the lake's buffer. We'll see a similar information what we saw with the streams. We have some of this information like name that comes from the original uh, Clallam County Lakes layer but we also see these new fields. So we've got the original feature ID field, so we can uh, reference that. And we also see the shape length and shape area, which again are going to give us an indication of the, the distance or length of the buffer polygon that was just created, as well as the area of that. And again, these values are gonna be referenced in feet. They represent feet because that is the linear unit of the projected coordinate system that we're using.